Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got glutes and abs. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, no repeat. Make sure you've got your heavy weights because that's all we're using today. The first part will be all glutes and that's gonna be standing. The second part will be all abs and that will be on the ground. So make sure you grab your yoga mat. First off, we're gonna start off, we're gonna do some glute activation. So go ahead and grab your booty band or a tube. If you don't have a band, that's okay. You can still go through the motions. It just won't be as intense, which it's all good. Make sure your core is nice and engaged and intact. Your spine is nice and straight, bottom is down. We're gonna get really low and I want you staying low. I tend to see often a lot of people kind of just stay it upright. No, I want you getting down here. You ready? Let's go side to side. There we go. And you wanna keep that space, right? About like a foot away from each other as we bring these feet in. Good. If you feel like you're gonna be cramping at any time, always stop and pause. Sometimes we're really working on our glutes. We really start activating maybe a little too much that piriformis muscle deep inside of our glute muscle, like right there underneath that maximus. So I want you to just back it off, stretch it out into child's pose and reset, okay? And let's go ahead and face this way. Cowboy walk, duck walk, whatever you want to call it, but stay low. Good. And we're going to walk it backwards. Good. And let's go ahead and take it up. Let's go ahead and have it behind our calves and we're gonna penguin walk it. Nice and stiff, nice and strong and straight. Good. Backwards. And let's go ahead and take that off. Okay, so get those weights. You know we're gonna start off. I'm going to cue you every 15 second transition on what's coming up next. We are gonna start off with RDLs, Romanian deadlifts, one of my favorites. Remember, it's an advanced move. You feel like you don't have it. Use your wall, get up here. You're gonna have some distance from your wall and you're just gonna hinge down, okay? And don't bend your knees too much. This is what I see a lot of, we're not doing that. You're keeping that nice soft bend in the knees and it's just hinging, hinging, hinging. You should be feeling it in your glutes. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Remember, comment below if, you have, if you're struggling with that and I can kind of guide you a little bit more on that. I'm probably gonna do a little tutorial as well, video for you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get started. 45 seconds on, 15 off. We're gonna get right into it. Remember, no repeat. Heavy, heavy weight. I have 25 pounds as a reference, all right? Legs right underneath their shoulders, shaving your legs down as we come up and down. Remember, you don't need to go all the way down to your feet. Stop right there at the shins. All right, next up we have a kickstand RDL. So you're gonna have that foot back right here and you're just gonna come in the front and then pull it back. One dumbbell or two. It's really just your preference on what's more comfortable. And make sure you have that form right on. Don't round your back out. It's really easy in this position to do that. If you're still working on your RDL, guys, stick with the RDL. Don't complicate it, don't do these.
Good. Of course, we're gonna go to the other side. You can drop the weights a little bit. Up, out and open, out and open. We're in and out, in and out. To the other side. Chest is proud. Oil drills. Okay, I like holding on to one dumbbell for this. Side to side. So now we're working on that balance and our glutes. One side, you're coming down right here and you're coming up. Your goal is to not drop that foot down to the floor. Remember, check your back, make sure you're not rounding it out. Belly button is fine. A little off balance today, huh? We all have our moments, we all have our days. We always have that imbalance on each side too. Maybe a little more balance on this one, we'll see. Whew, all right. Soft bend in that standing leg, here we go. Okay, so now we have a sumo deadlift. You're gonna need that heavier weight and you're gonna hold them right in the center. So it's like we're coming down right here, all right? We're pulling here and we're bringing it up. Back is straight, pull up. Good. Brutal. All right, reverse lunges. One side, one side only. If you're struggling with your reverse lunge, I want you to just hold it here and pulse it for me, okay? The rest of you, we're pulling it back, coming back into it. So you're here, bring it back. Good. Thank you. 
other side. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna grab lighter weights for this. We have a squat pulse. Three counts down, then you come up. You have your weights, rest it right here on your shoulders, or you hold on to them. So right here. One, two, three, take it up. Good. All right. Now you're going to hold your weights up. We're going to squat, leg, pulse up. So we're going to raise it back right here, bringing it back, squeeze, and alternate that. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Now it's time for abs. Whoo. Hit your mat. Yeah. All right. This one, still the same. 45 seconds on. 45 seconds off. Oh, so now listen to your body. If you're feeling that in your back right now, especially your low back, you weren't engaging your core, you weren't doing the exercise properly. All right, especially with those RDLs, probably where it's from. Sometimes too, when we squat, your core is not engaged, you're not pulling in that belly button, the spine, right? I always cue you guys on. You're using your back, you're feeling it. So keep that in mind, keep coming back to this, keep working on your moves, your form, and you'll be just fine. All right, so first up we have a knee tuck. We get that knee tuck, so you're gonna be down right here. We don't have any weights on these, um, so just keep that in mind, right? So you're knee tucking in, and you're bringing it back out. Now, that's advanced. For those that can't really quite get there, you're gonna crunch it up right here, and then bring it down, keeping that tabletop position, all right? Still working, those, that six pack, a six pack, that's what we're working right there on these. All right, let's get started. Remember, keep cueing you.
No. Now we have a pie slicer. So you're gonna come up, cut through, and then to the other side. You're trying to get their shoulder blades up off yeah. the mat. Once again, if you can't, you don't have the core strength yet, you're just gonna be right here, you're gonna crunch it up. Here we go. All right, now we got jackknives to the side. One of my favorite moves that, oh, I just love these. So I'm, I'm gonna be doing these a lot. You probably have already been doing them. You're probably sick and tired, but they're so effective. If you can't do a jackknife, you come in the end. Jackknife comes up, bring it down, cut through the sky. Good. Good. Oh, going to the other side. Now we have a triple bicycle. All right, so you're gonna count three times. It just slows you all down on these bicycles. A lot of you guys wanna go really, really fast. It feeds the purpose. The time under tension is where it's at. Two, three, then you switch. One, two, three, then you switch. Further down your leg goes, more advanced you are. Oh, whoo, get me every time. Let me reverse curl. Hands right here. You're gonna bring your legs up and over and slowly bring it down. Once again, go up as much as you can. All right, this is really nice mobility on the spine too. Rest. 
Now we have a low leg raise, but with a hip up. So you're gonna come up, push it up, and bring it back down. We're almost there, we're almost there. Huh. Now our last one is the hundreds. Oh, you know, old school Pilates right here. So you come up right here as you're doing this. Now, if you want to advance it, by all means, come out this way. The rest of us, we're right here. You're pressing your back down, belly, button, and spine. We're pulsing. Make sure those knees are out, tabletop. And now I want you doing small breaths through your nose, out through your mouth. Rest, good job, bring your knees in, good work, good work. Good, sway side to side. Go ahead and bring your one ankle over that thigh right here and pull in. And switch. down, bring that arm, knee across, look the opposite direction and hold. And bring that down, let's go to the other side. Bring that in and grab it over. And let's go ahead and sit up as we seat a pigeon here. Let's go ahead and bend this knee, ankle over here, and then just kind of pull and push into it. Push your chest in until you feel that stretch and hold. Good, drop it down. This is where we all kind of daze out, but let's stand up and get snap out of it. All right. Whew. Okay, let's do the last two right here. Inhale. Exhale down, one more inhale. Exhale down, good work guys. I know that was nice, short and sweet to the point. Um, so comment below, comment below, tell me what you think. If you like the no repeats, if you kind of want a little more of that, if you want to double up on it, do it, right? Pause after that. those glutes are done. Go back to it and repeat. So make it yours. All right, good work.